The police department is releasing three different angles of officers body camera footage after they say two of their officers shot a teenager last Saturday night. Police say the entire situation began when someone called to report a suspicious man with a gun. Video starts with officers following Carteris Doty. The first officer repeatedly asked the 19 year old to drop a gun. Police say a caller had given a very specific description of Doty when they called to report him with a gun. Doty continues to walk away from the officer crossing the street and then into a nearby neighborhood, all while acknowledging officers and engaging, but seemingly not obeying their repeated commands. Put the gun down! Dalton police say two other officers show up as backup and body camera footage shows they too follow Doty with demands, sometimes while pointing their guns at the teenager. Put it on the ground. After several minutes, body camera footage appears to show Carteris Doty lift his hand despite warnings. Police slowed down the video. Then two officers fire shots. We've frozen the video right there. When the subject turned around here and he had his hand on the weapon in his gun in his waistband, uh, it, at that point it's, it's like um, who's the quickest draw? They took an extended amount of time to try to get the defender to drop his weapon. Both officers fired several times and Doty dropped to the ground. Why so many gunshots? What well, officers are trained to fire until the threat is extinguished. And as you can clearly see in the video, the offender, even though he had been struck several times by the officer's um, bullets. Officers are then seen kicking away what police say was a gun as Doty laid on the ground in pain. Tonight, he's still hospitalized. I haven't spoke to my son since Halloween night, the night of the incident. So no, I haven't been able to ask him any questions. And I didn't know he had a gun until today. Was that a gun that was in his hand? Doty's mother said her son has suffered for years from several mental illnesses, and she says he likely didn't understand police officers' commands. She said he is badly injured, but he's expected to be okay. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.